how's it going everyone so welcome to double pebble so this is the second video that i will be posting today uh, if you have not checked out the first one it is the s16 paul pogba review that i just posted about 10 minutes ago so before we go into today's video let me just take a couple of minutes to thank uh, orange spark who, who took the time out to help me to do a very pretty uh, thumbnail for my review video as you can see for from the uh, pogba video the thumbnail is so nice um, and I really I'm really grateful to him to for helping me with the graphic design because I'm really useless at graphic design like I can barely scrape by uh, video editing but graphic design is something that is out of my out of the way for me I can never grab it so I'm so happy that uh, there's somebody who, who took the time out to help me out and uh, I will really appreciate if any of you um, knows how to do graphic design, knows how to do uh, Photoshop. You can you can do thumbnails and send it to me, and I'll feature them in my videos because my own thumbnails are definitely way more crap as compared to all the professionally done ones like you guys. So anyway, let's talk about work rate today. So I've uh, received uh, some requests to talk about work rate. So um. Just to give the whole broad picture, I don't think work rate is very very important in this engine. Okay, it's not. It's I would say more into the final details already. Like I used to think work rate is important, but after playing for so long using under this new impact engine, impact and engine doesn't really seem to have a lot of impact. But nonetheless, there are still some positions where you can feel. A little bit of the work rate and there are some positions where it's not so obvious i will talk about them in detail and i'll give examples okay so let's start with um strikers so strikers generally i used to say um, we prefer strikers with a work rate of at least not at least like high high for attack and then uh, the defending doesn't matter but high for attack is a must so what is the difference in work rate uh, in performance between a high work rate striker like Ronaldo and a mid work rate striker like Ibra? Um, I've mentioned this a few times in my review video. It seems that where Ronaldo uh, has more urgency to get into the box, there is not many times when I see Ronaldo hanging out on the edge of the box when my wingers are in position. Like he always tend to run in. And I will attribute that to his work rate because attacking work rate high means that when you're attacking, they're very hard working. You know, they are they are hard working to get into the correct position. Uh, for Ibra, and for the sake of argument, Drogba, whose work rate is also mid. Sometimes when you are on the wings, they will tend to hang on the edge of the box. It's like they are lazy to run inside. You know? But nonetheless, um. It's really very fine detail, but like you can't really feel feel a very very drastic difference between them. I wouldn't say it's game breaking, but if you have the uh, choice, go for the high work rate ones. Okay, now for uh, weakness, I can't really feel the difference to be honest. Like for a high work rate winger like Robin or a mid work rate winger, I I don't even know if there are mid work rate wingers in my team. Like I I have never used a mid work rate ones. Even Ribery is high. Like for wingers, it seems like their work rate are all quite high. Maybe because they need to run up and down. But I haven't really been able to tell the difference. Di Maria, I use him on the wings a lot. Uh, he is high as well. Yeah. Uh, it's not a critical for winger. Now for center midfield, uh, I can feel a little bit of difference. Uh, mainly, for example, I'll give you an example. We know that Chabi Alonso's work rate is low mid which is very rare we hardly see low mid to be honest and when i use him as compared to when i use someone like um, steven Gerrard, who is mid mid if i'm not wrong is that uh alonso seem to like to stay in the middle of the field a lot which is good for my kind of play okay so he like to he doesn't really go forward a lot occasionally he will venture forward but most of the time he's stationed right in the middle of the field which is good for me because he it helps to give 
stability to my midfield because I have a three-man midfield. If all of them go up, I'm dead. If all of them don't go up, I'm also dead. So I like to have someone go up and someone hanging in the middle, someone staying at the back. So Alonso seems to be like in the middle of everything. Um, for Gerard, he's mid mid. So uh, I do feel that he go forward a little bit more. Like he's a little bit more offensive. Uh, offensively minded, he tend to get into the box or edge of the box or make runs into the channel much much more than Alonso. So I guess that is the work rate uh, impact. But most of the time, uh, midfielders are mid mid. Like they are, I think Alonso is the only one that is low mid. I think so. Uh, but you guys, if you have not tried Alonso, do try him out. I really like his work rate a lot. Right. And uh, next is a CDM. Now CDM is tricky. Okay, CDM is very very tricky. It's, it's something that even I can't explain. Uh, let's look at Pogba. Pogba is my CDM. He's high mid, which is not ideal for a CDM because you don't want your CDM to have high attacking rate and just mid defensive rate. Funny thing though, funny thing is that he doesn't go up a lot. I have no idea why. He tend to hang behind the two midfielders. Like he's always at the base of the triangle between um, the three of them. I am, I am not sure why. He does venture forward from time to time, but very, very seldom. And that's what I like about him. Like he's very, very disciplined in the CDM position. So high me, okay? But when I use PK, okay, who is also high me, exact same work rate as Pogba. This guy thinks he's a striker to be honest. He he thinks that he, he must score goals every game one. Every attack he will go up one. Whether it's a counter attack, whether it's a slow view or whatever, he will make the run forward one. I don't know why. Even though I did not trigger his run, I did not want to with him, but he will make the forward run. So I have no idea why. I attribute it to maybe positioning because uh, PK's positioning is so much, so much lower as compared to Pogba. So that might be a reason. And then you have players like Divorcy or, or other players with a high defensive work rate and, and they don't go up so much as well. Like I have the Divorcy in the streamer's account. It's pretty, pretty disciplined. I forgot about Matic. I used to use him a long time ago but he seemed to go up quite a lot. Uh, let me know in the comments whether Matic will go up and down a lot. Okay, so that is for midfielders. Uh, okay, now to the important one, defenders. Center defenders are, are pretty obvious really, the impact is pretty obvious. Now we talk about two types of center backs. Uh, in fact, I have both of them in my first team. One of them is what I call the traditional old-fashioned center back and then one of them is the modern center back. So I think you guys can guess, the modern center back is like Sergio Ramos and then the traditional one is the old horses, lah, the John Terry. So uh, work rate wise, Ramos is not good to be honest, he's high mid. So I noticed that when you have a high mid defender, what they tend to do a lot is they like to push forward a lot aggressively to win the ball. Like even though my my settings, my strategies, I set the pressure and aggression to very low, right? Ramos seem to always be in front of the other uh, defenders and trying to win the balls. It, it's good for players who presses a lot. It's not so good for players like me who like to hang back. So I had a hard time trying to uh, learn how to use him. So that is high knee. And then you go to the other end of the spectrum with the old horse, old traditional centre back. Mid high. This is John Terry, mid high. Um, he doesn't go up at all, you know, like he's very very deep when he defends. He doesn't chong out on his own and try and win tackles, man. So, um, uh, it's good and bad again, once again, if you like to press and then you use him, you will find that he, you have difficulty pressing the ball because of the fact that his starting position is very deep. Okay, same thing goes for someone like Vidic. Who has even better work rate by right? Low high, I think. Yeah, low high is the absolute best work rate for center back. Very, very, very disciplined. Always very deep. In fact, when I use Terry and Village together, right, my defense is a thousand times more solid. Really. It's just that a bit of biasness comes in. I like Ramos, so I just use Ramos. But if you want to talk about suitability, Village is much, much more suitable for my kind of play as compared to Ramos. Okay? 
same thing for players like David Lewis. These are the modern centre backs. Most modern centre backs have high attacking work rate, and then medium, mid defending one. Right? I I'm not sure why they they like to do this. Even PK as well is also high mid, so they are very aggressive when it comes to defending. Uh, and and you have to adjust. I I see, uh, maybe a, a little tip here. I find that if you are the type that defends like me, you like to drop back. But you are using this kind of defender, you just want to set your strategy to have a little bit higher pressure and aggression. Kind of suits them more. Okay. Um, as for fullbacks, the impact is really not very obvious. Like um, okay, uh, I can tell the difference between Mycon and Elbes because Mycon his uh, work rate is high mid. Okay, he like to attack more, but he also like to he also defend like medium. But when it comes to Elvis, right? Elvis is high low, okay. And this guy like to attack a lot. Really, when I use Elvis, right, he likes to overlap a lot. Good when I'm defend, I'm uh, on the offensive because sometimes when my wing is isolated, my winger is stuck at the side already. He will make the overlapping run, and I can pass to him. One. But the flip side is that he get countered a lot. Like uh, I'm sure Jaren will agree. Like whenever he, he he overlaps, he lose the ball. It's a big big gap that he leaves behind. Uh, Mycon doesn't really have this problem on the other side because he is a bit more defensive. I guess the mid work rate really helps a little. Uh, same thing goes for Philip Lang. I think he's high high or mid high mid high. This guy even better. He don't even go forward. Right? Honestly, when I use Lam, he hardly go forward. Always stay at the back one. So uh, generally, for for defenders, especially for fullbacks. I wouldn't say the effect is very obvious. Like, uh, maybe it's because most of the time I'm trying to control the game, so I try not to lose the ball and I don't feel the effect so much. But if you are the type that that turns over your possession a lot, maybe Elvis will kill you because you will leave a lot of gaping holes at the back, right? And I think that is about it for for work rate. Um, is there any work rate for goalkeeper? Oh, yeah, goalkeepers also have work rate, but definitely got use no use one, no impact one. Like goalkeeper work rate. So I think that is it from me for work rate. Maybe you guys can comment below and let me know what you guys think about work rate. Um, anything that I've left out, any observation that I have that you might disagree with, that you have another kind of uh, uh, observation, just share in the comment and we can have a good discussion. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going off um, overseas soon to relax myself and I will see you guys when I come back and hopefully I can be able to stream by then so don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more I, I think they asked you all to like press on some bell thingy right so that when I post then you all will be notified yeah so press on the bell press on the bell I don't even know where's the bell but press on the bell find a bell and press okay press on the bell subscribe to my channel like this video give them a thumbs up and I'll see you next week